Hi, this is Timothy J, and I'm in Revolution. Why don't you come in? Well, my mum was a singer. Her mum was a singer. And um, my dad played guitar. He learned when he was about 16, played a bit of clarinet. So um, when they met, when my mum met my dad, they started doing sort of pub gigs, clubs, you know, weddings and stuff, um, playing folk music, uh, playing, you know, like Dylan, Joni Mitchell, um, right through to the Beatles, um, a bit of rock and roll. They play everything, really. Um, and when we were old enough, that's me and my two brothers, were old enough to pick up instruments, we, you know, added to that. We played more sort of Cajun, Irish and American folk music, more sort of barn dance stuff, you know, Dosey do and all that. And um, we uh, we play at PTAs and weddings and stuff like that. It was a good, you know, 50, 50 quid on a on a Saturday night. Um, at the moment, I'm going through a real hip hop phase. <clears throat> Dr. Dre is my it's my god at the moment. Most of what he's done, I really really like. Um, Red Man, uh, Missy Elliott all that sort of stuff. I tend to, it kind of surprises a few people that I would listen to something that's so different to what I am, but that's only how you can progress, I think, to to listen to things that, you know, are, come from come from a different area than yourself. So um, I'm not listening to an awful lot of Bell and Sebastian and stuff like that, what people sort of assume that you're into, but um, when I tell them Dr. Dre, they kind of raise an eyebrow, but he's the man. You know, some some songwriters say, well, you know, I, I dash this song off in three quarters of an hour. And every time someone says that, I think, well, would a couple of more hours on the lyrics really hurt? You know, it's it's, it's weird. So, no, it's difficult. It takes, um, it takes a long time to maybe write a bit of a tune or have a local idea and let it, you know, gestate in my head for a bit and then come back to it, maybe go on to something else. But I like to, uh, you know mix it up a bit, start writing... I mean, I'm into hip-hop now, so I start writing a song with a beat, and then that's how Dr Dre, I think, writes, you know, wake up in the AM, compose a beat, and just does that, calls his mate up to play a bit of bass on it, and then a bit of keyboards, and then it, 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 he builds it from a different place. I mean, I used to, I used to uh, strum a few chords, sing a bit of a melody over that, think of a few lyrical ideas and structures and start from chords and melodies, but now I've done that, so I want to do something else, like um, start start with a beat or start with a sound or start with um, a lyrical idea, you know, just try and come from different places, then you'll never sort of get bored. You know, I'd be lying if I told you that it was my original intention to be a solo artist. I always, I've always loved bands, and even the great solo artists, at their peak for me, have had a band. You know, um, David Bowie. Obviously, when Mick Ronson joined, he just went up a gear. You know, with Hunky Dory, um, Bob Dylan. I don't know. His, his ego is too big to have a a really great, great band until the band, and then he never made his best records weren't with them. It's kind of weird, but um, and even Rod Stewart. With the faces, you know, Ron Wood joined, and then make, they make some great stuff. I think the important thing is um, to allow there to be a number of personalities on record. Um, you know, not not turn into Phil Collins. Being written about it's cool. I mean, most people have been complimentary, uh, and that's nice. But it's a difficult job, you know, being a journalist, trying to explain music, r trying to write it down, and talk about. You know, you have to give a reference. You can't say, well, it's a bit acoustic, it's a bit electric, it's a bit Cajun, it's a bit this, it's a bit that. I, you know, I really have no idea to describe this other than sort of name the obvious references. You know, people, white boys with acoustic guitars, who's that? Uh, Nick Drake and Elliot Smith. So that's what they say. And, you know, there's worse people to be compared against.